Hello fellow engineers and welcome to These Doomed Isles, aka UK Simulator right now. A really cool little like city builder slash card game slash, I don't know, it's just addictive. Let's get into it. So essentially this is, this is where we start. So if we zoom out, look, these are the Doomed Isles. They go on for quite a long way actually. Oh man, they go on for a really long way. There is an end. Although then it's just C. Is there actually an end or is it just... we got like 10 minutes to get back to the middle of the map. Oh, I, I don't though. I can press the middle mouse button. Yeah, I remembered that. Nice. But first, a massive thank you to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. So this is my old wallet. It's absolutely huge. However, this is the Ridge Wallet, which takes up so much less pocket space while still being able to hold 12 cards and cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including these that I have here. I've also got the carbon key case, which is a silent way to carry keys. No more key rattling. The wallets also come with a lifetime guarantee, which is perfect for when you're trying to show your dog the beauty of them and he mistakes it for food and runs off with it. So if you head to ridge.com forward slash RCE, you get up to 40% off until December the 22nd. That's ridge.com forward slash RCE. So thanks to Ridge for sponsoring, but let's get back to today's video. Anyway, this in the middle is our shrine. Now we can only build to lands that are connected to shrines uh, and the game is over if our shrine gets destroyed. Now in the top left, these are sort of all of our resources. So we've got our followers. They're basically like our villagers. Uh, you can see it says four and then slash zero. That's because there's no housing. Uh, and if we want to give them housing, we've got these cards to start with that we can pick. So I'm going to pick a cabin, which is plus two housing. We can literally shove that anywhere. So I guess we'll shove one there and now you can see that's four of two and you'll notice the two is moved here so this is the workers tab so basically the villagers won't work for you unless they have housing so i'm actually gonna get the other cabin shove it there oh we've made a pretty strong looking village here yeah we've also got a few other things so we've got happiness that's currently at 70 percent obviously if you don't feed your villagers if you don't house them and stuff happiness will go down you lose the game if that hits zero uh, you also lose the game if your food hits zero as well now you can see we're getting minus four each round now so we are gonna have to find a way to get food for our people. Uh, we've also got wood, which we can build with. We've got gold, which we can buy cards with. And we've got this at the end, faith, which is also a card currency. Uh, and we gain that for like, well, as you can see here, for having cabins within the shrine area. They're getting two faith each. So we've got a few more cards down here. So we've got some land. I and mean, if you look in the top right, that's the that's the shape of the land. So it's sort of like Tetris. So if we grab that, uh, you can see we can, we can rotate it. And basically what you want to try and do is like sort of make bridges onto different different areas so if i were to come down and place it there that will give us access to that land and not only that we've made our first bridge which means bridge review this bridge is just a load of land i'm not even sure if it is technically a bridge it connects our very strong base onto this new island which we can use to build we can also plant trees on this island now and because this is a green bridge it's eco-friendly the fish are happy overall i give this bridge a 1.2 out of 10 i'm not actually sure sure it is a bridge. Bridge review! Yeah, wow, nice nice early bridge review in there. Um, You may notice as well, these cards, if you look at the top left, uh, that's how much faith it costs to buy each one. So you can see up here, we're, we're down to just six faith. Uh, however, I have learned trees are quite valuable, so it might be worth doing that. We can also spend faith over here to sort of re-roll our cards. Um, but obviously, if I do that, I probably can't collect any more cards because they cost that. The number at the bottom, that's like how many of these are sort of left in your pack. So if, the, if I take one of these, there will only be three next time. Um, I am actually, I am going to take this and I'm going to shove this probably there for now. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. The aim of this game, by the way, is to get like victory points and uh, fill up this bar up here. Um, and you'll notice as well, we, we go through all the different seasons. So this is the end of summer. So that means we can harvest food and stuff. Um, we don't actually have any food. So obviously we're not going to do that. But harvest gets us into the next season. Um, and it means we can, we can pick some new cards for the following year. So we got 32 gold to spend. Each of these, they cost different amounts according to what's at the bottom. Uh, we can spend two gold to re-roll by pressing that button as well. Uh, I like getting gold, so I might take the panning hut. Uh, each worker provides plus two gold if at least one water tile is in range. So yeah, we'll do that. It costs five wood, but we've got 22 of that, so we'll buy one of them. I might grab some housing just in case we get some more people. Then we'll re-roll. Uh, we've got food storage. We've got some fences because we will be under attack. That's one of the main things we've got to do in this game. We've got defend our shrine. Uh, oh, we got a logging camp. So I think I will buy that so we can 
gain some wood. I'm going to re-roll again. All right, here we go. This is a good one. This is a very good one. So we've got forager huts. Uh, now, foragers are incredible because they don't just gain wood like the lumberjacks. They don't just gain food like the farmers. They actually gain both. So plus four food and plus two wood if at least one forest is in range. So yeah, we'll definitely grab that. Yeah, I think we might grab a fishing platform as well. May as well do some fishing. Bit of bit of variety in their diet. And then I might just re-roll and ooh, an amphitheater. So that makes people happy, but at the cost of gold. So I don't think I'm going to go with any of these except for gotta have faith. That will give me a hundred faith to spend. Although I can only hold 24, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Let's grab it. And then we'll exit now and we're into autumn. So the land is now, it's changed. Like the trees are all autumn-y. If we had farms and stuff, that would all change. Let's get the panning hut, I reckon. And basically we just got to shove this somewhere where there's water. So yes, maybe shove that out there, sort of out the way. Uh, we can then click on these and we can add workers. It does actually auto add workers, uh, but you can add, remove, as you like. Basically, we're going to get four gold per turn as long as we leave two people in there. So that's cool. And then I'm just going to end my turn. So now we've gone into winter. You can see there's snow all about the floor. The trees are all snowy. But look, we now have the forager card. Uh, so I'm definitely going to play that. And as you can see, it only takes up one square. It's just, just going to be in range of like one tree. So I might just shove it in the middle just because I can. Uh, so that's got two people in. So that's getting us eight food per turn, four wood per turn, uh, which means now they're all in the positive, which is banging. Um, I might spend the rest of these and then try and end up with two faith to buy this card. So we may as well shove a cabin down up here. So cabin there, put a forest down there. We've got six faith remaining, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. So we've now got maxed out faith. So let's go on to the new year. It's spring of year two. Oh no. Oh no. I'm an idiot. All that faith is gone. Oh, I didn't realize you could only use it the same turn. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Right. Never mind. Never mind. Let's get a logging camp. We we want to get that down here. Um, now, the downside with a logging camp is they will... They will ruin trees. Like, they'll dig them up. Um, so we've got to make sure that there's at least a tree in range here. You can sort of see, like, the area it's going to affect. So actually, that's a good spot. Because uh, this forager hut, they should still have the tree. That one there. That's not in range of the logging camp. All right, so that's all good. I'm probably... It might be worth trying to, like, fill in some of these gaps. Make this a bit better. So I might go there just to give us some more room to build. And this one... We've got an L shape. I might just go... Let's go down here. We'll try and get to, like, these islands and stuff. Nice. Right, let's end our turn. And now it's summer again. Decent. All right, so all resources are looking pretty good, actually. I might just continue trying to explore. So if we, if we use that one, we're now connected to this island. If we do that, we're now connected to that island. So now we've got loads of room if we want to start building things. Um, I may as well shove a fishing platform down. So you can sort of see there's, like, fish dotted about in the background. So we've got to find some fish, like, on a shoreline. And looking down here, where we've got our new thing. So that gets us two to six. Yeah, dotting around, it seems at two to six is the best we can do. So I'm at, I am going to shove that all the way down here. So plonk that there. And then I'm not actually going to put a worker in there for now. We're on plus three food anyway, so I don't need to worry too much. So let's just go into the harvest. And uh, we've got to think about defenses now. So we've got seven gold coins to spend. Let's let's buy the longbow tower. Yeah, I'm probably worth grabbing this pilgrimage card. That's going to take a lot of faith. Six faith to build, but uh, it costs zero gold, so definitely take that. And then I'll just save my money, I think. So we'll exit that. We're in towards some of year two. With our faith, we'll play the pilgrimage card. And uh, as long as we click on our shrine, we get 10 gold. Decent. Thank you. Now, top right, we now have this. Enemies approaching from the southwest. So we are going to want to play our longbow card. Now, I'm not actually sure if it's worth waiting till they attack or just sort of guessing where they're going to attack from. We know it's southwest, so I guess I could just shove it, like, plonk it on there. Uh, we need to put someone in there as well. So maybe let's, we can reduce the logging camp for now and put someone in the longbow tower. And then let's end our turn and see what happens at winter. Yeah, enemies are attacking next turn from the southwest. So we're a bit prepared. We know we got to defend the shrine. It might be worth trying to add more workers to it though. So do I gamble? Do I just like say, listen lads, don't worry about foraging this time. We don't need food. We don't need logs. Uh, just defend. Get in there. And then I can like wait for my faith to come up. We don't really, I don't think we really 
care about the land and the... We don't care about that. Let's get to the new year. Right, so there they are. Spring and they are attacking. So at the end of this turn, that those boats, that's where the enemy will attack from. I mean, obviously their boats are there. They're ready to attack. Uh, luckily, I built my longbow tower in the right place. I probably should have played it soon. I just wasn't sure like if I'd get that card again because it is a card game. You never know what card you're going to pull. Um, right, so I got 10 faith. So let's get another 10 gold. And then let's just end our turn and we'll watch this attack. So there go your arrows. Die. Oh, look, look he's on land. He's destroying my rock. What a knobhead. He's a Saxon raider. So he attacks food sources unless your shrine is closer. Um, I think we've got to wait till next round till our longbow tower has another go at him. We did destroy the other boat though. Oh, and this guy's boat. So he's literally trapped here now. Um, I think I'm going to get I'm gonna get more gold ready for the end of the year. So up to 45 gold. It's going to be a good year, I'll tell you that. Um, let's, let's harvest. So we're into autumn. That guy is dead. And look, now we've got some cards. Now we've got some cards. So fish tiles, we, that allows us to gain fish. Um, can be useful if you've got a lot of fishing things because the fish the fisherman hut things they do actually like the fish disappear over time so i might grab that i might grab another longbow tower just in case you get attacked from a different angle yeah, maybe the repair as well just in case and then we'll re-roll oh, here we go more foragers i might grab another forager i feel like they're like the overpowered one then re-roll those might be worth getting another cabin i think and then maybe another crossbow tower or another panning hut maybe both i've got so much gold i may as well oh we can add a tavern which makes people happy we don't actually we're not worried about happiness at the moment everyone's pretty happy uh, the hailstorm allows us to attack villagers like on our go like rather than waiting for our towers um, and then this one makes them bleed as well oh man they must be like big old lumps of hail anyway i might take the treasury and then tavern and the hailstorm re-roll and then just exit right it's awesome year three now we got loads of cards we can't actually afford oh forager one wouldn't mind a forager i'm gonna i think i'm gonna play the cabin card this time so we'll shove that there that gets us more faith each time yeah, and it gives us place for more workers um, i'm then gonna move people out of the longbow tower there's no point being in there then add the foragers again and then just spread everyone else out like that nice let's end our turn and it's winter all right let's get another panning hut we may as well make some more gold i'll shove that up there and then i might play a treasury as well so if we put that next to it you can see now we can store 90 gold uh, and we're getting 10 every time as well which is pretty good um, oh and also top right we've got our first victory point that was from defending against the raid and also it's, it's always worth reading these because that's telling us we're going to get an another follower next turn so if you did have your your cabin card to play and you haven't played it yet now would be a good time to play it so you can hold more people but we're on to the new year it's spring so we've got that extra worker could be worth getting the tavern down just so we get some happiness each time. What does that cost? Eight gold and eight logs. Yeah, sod it. Why not? So we gotta have we gotta have houses in range. So that gets two to six happiness. Oh, look there though. Four to twelve happiness. Okay, so yeah, we'll shove that there. And then we gotta we gotta shove our new worker in there. So, and he's gone in. So he's gonna get us four happiness every turn now. Uh, so we'll be up to 100% no time. Everyone's happy in this land. All right, let's end our turn. Uh, top right enemies are approaching. So it could be worth getting another crossbow tower i don't think we know where they're approaching from yet though uh, so i'm not i'm not gonna panic for now i think i might just spend my spend my faith on some gold so plonk that there since i got a lot of faith i might shove some fish down if we click there there you go that's put some fish around that area lovely All right and then more harvest so what do we want to go for this time this is just adding to our deck the harvest cards so maybe another crossbow tower i feel like as enemies are close the more of them we have the better because it means we're more likely to get one on a turn the great tomb so we get plus 40 victory points as well as increasing our maximum faith and doubling our current faith i mean it costs zero so yeah we may as well try it's pretty pricey to build in game though 10 of every resource but yeah we'll have a go we'll have have a go. Yeah, then we'll re-roll anything here we want. Oh, a goldsmith. Oh, if we can put that near our panning hut, that would be decent. Let's grab that. And a brewery, that doubles the effect of taverns. Now, I'm not I'm not going to worry about happiness. We're pretty happy right now. I think I might just re-roll once more, see if there's anything worth getting. There is another panning hut, but I don't have many workers. What is a javelinier? So, do these guys defend us? Okay, let's grab one of them. Decent, right? Let's, let's finish our go. And now it's autumn year four. Um, enemies are approaching from the north. Okay, so we might want to shove a crossbow tower somewhere up here. I'll probably wait. I might actually build some more land up the top because I feel like we're definitely going to want that 
treasury thing near the near the gold panners. That increases those, doesn't it? The goldsmiths. There it is. Yeah, that needs three in a line. So we'll try and add some more land there. And then that should be good. Yeah, we have another forager looking at food. That's probably sensible. So let's shove that there. And then we'll end our turn. And now it's winter. Enemies are attacking next turn. We also gain a follower, which is cool. Can I afford the great tomb? I think I can afford it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna place the great tomb down. Yeah, I think I'll place it down there. So there is the great tomb. So now you can see we hold loads of faith. 93 faith now. Uh, we also get a load of victory points and stuff. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, with this land, can I... Oh, I can't fit it in there very easily. I might wait for an L-shaped bit of land, if I'm honest. Maybe I'll shove that there, just in case I need a crossbow tower over that way. I think I might go on to the new year and gamble. I'll see where the boats are. Yeah, there they are. Oh, man, there's so many boats. I don't have any crossbow towers. Game. Oh, there's more boats down there as well. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Let's, since we got the faith, let's re-roll those options. Right, there's one crossbow tower. So I think we'll shove that there to try and get those. We're gonna have to re-roll again. I'm so glad I got that faith. Right, there's another crossbow tower. I think we'll plonk that one there. And then it's a case of making people unhappy because we're gonna have to change all the jobs up. All right, so we'll end our turn and we'll see, can we defend so that's that boat done. Up here, there's... Oh, there's so many enemies. There's so many enemies. All right, a few have got onto land. Oh, no, these ones are destroying my buildings. Oh, no. That one's destroying my rocks. That's fine. No, my forager huts, you knobs. Right, okay, so that longbow tower, you can see they're both in range. So I think that one's fine. That should cover everything. Up here, he's got the boat and that guy in range. He's got that boat in range. I might need another crossbow tower. Probably, like there maybe there just to take out all of these guys because there's two boats and a person there so i've swapped all my people around let's go to harvest and then let's see can we take them out i think most people are down oh no look no no oh we lost a forager we've only got two gold so let's just exit there's no point doing that we got to take out these attackers i could play my hailstorm card what do we have up here any enemies we got we got a boat there and a boat there i think i might just muller this guy so he's now bleeding which hopefully means end of this turn he will just bleed out and die these guys are still attacking the boats so surely he's down now right yeah he's down that boat also down oh that was stressful that was stressful um and annoyingly enemies are attacking next turn from the north um since they're not attacking this turn i am i am gonna switch up all my followers so get out the towers oh we we lost a panning thing up here. yeah we did we lost another panning hut uh good news is that land is the right shape to do that um but yeah overall we we got a bit screwed there so let's go to the new year right there's the enemies thankfully not a big swarm there's none down there this time so hopefully we can just get people in that one and then i might hailstorm them early like i may as well i've got loads of faith so they're all bleeding now which means they'll take damage over time now, i might play my repair card and repair well that treasury is on the verge of death so let's repair that there we go and then we'll end our turn and then we just gotta attack these guys beast we destroyed them nice okay so this time i think i might play the goldsmiths then if i shove that there i can literally fill this area with panning things all right so now i moved everyone about so everything's in the positive except for happiness that's going down a little bit and um, but we're on 97 percent, so i'm not too worried we're gonna we're gonna hit harvest and then we get to pick some more cards to add to our deck uh definitely want to count because we've got we've got a homeless follower at the moment um, i may as well take that just because it costs nothing i think that's decent and we got 12 coins to spend oh plus five housing oh i might go with that and then i might re-roll once more a stone circle i wonder what that's based on uh, that gives us victory points and more faith uh, so i might take that i might take that and perhaps another longbow tower just in case uh, i think let's get our cabin down so we'll shove that there so now we have an extra worker an extra pair of hands uh, not really sure where to put you all of our resources are kind of good i might give you a food job so maybe you can go fish over that way. Uh, then we'll end our turn. Well, look, we get two followers next turn. Bang in. So it's now spring. We got a few more resources. You can see food is going down in a big way. Oh, I have enough to build the stone circle. Do I have the space to build that? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. This is going to be like Monument Island down here. Let's sh let's shove the stone circle down. Look at the faith. Look at the faith. Uh, next up, I might shove a stone house up here. So that can go there. Then if I re-roll, are there any foody things? I can add more fish. 
fish. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of fish surrounding this, so maybe I won't do that yet. Perhaps later on. Could try a javelin here. I think, do they just like guard areas? Yeah, it looks like they do. Uh, something I need. I need some forest tiles to go around this forager, so maybe I'll keep rolling. There we go. You can shove that there. You can shove another one like that. And we're under 10. Oh no, what is this? What is this? We're being attacked by loads of stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's fill up the longbow towers and the crossbow towers. And then since we've got no more people, I guess we'll just hit harvest and hope for the best. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of people attacking. Oh, those little ghost things, they're like one-hit kills. Okay, that's good. That is good. Uh, they are attacking, though. They managed to get on land. All right, harvest time. I'm going to re-roll those. Oh, meteor storm. That could be good for defending. I'll take that. Maybe another panning hut as well. Yeah, that will do. Right, I'm pretty sure we're going to defend everything. So let's grab the panning hut. Let's shove that up there. And let's end our turn because I'm pretty sure now winter's here. We should take out everyone. That one's down. He's down. She's down. He's down. All right, so now we take everyone out the towers. Turn everyone into goldsmiths, pretty much. And then all these numbers are green again. Let's go to the new year. All right, probably could use some trees. So let's shove some trees like that. Uh, we're also, we're after some fish, apparently. Let's have a look. Yeah, look, we need some fish. So if we re-roll, we should get the fish card. There it is. So we'll plonk that like that. And then that's surrounded those in fish. And food's positive again. So let's end our turn. All right, and Enemies are approaching next time, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I think we're pretty good for now, though. So we'll go to harvest. We'll re-roll those. Cannibalism. Gain 24 food, but lose one follower. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, the guy that it happened to, he's got a thumbs up. So I'm guessing he approved of the idea. Now, I might grab the ancient fort, though, and another panning hut. Give me that gold. Sacrifice. <laughs> Gain 12 faith, but lose a follow. I'm, I'm actually doing all right for faith, so I'm not going to sacrifice any of my lovely followers. Oh, oh, there you go. I might take some foragers and maybe another stone house. And maybe some fish. Right, I'm spending money now. I'm not I'm not enslaving my followers. Oh, lightning. Three damage to a single target. Wet enemies take double so i assume boats yeah may as well take that maybe another longbow tower right let's oh, i got so much gold actually yeah let's re-roll let's re-roll again oh gain five percent happiness for every enemy killed i'm already so happy though i don't need to be any more happy i'll take a cabin and maybe a shield knight they sound fun enemies approaching from the northeast and southwest well nothing we can do now except for build an ancient fort i mean perhaps it will protect us perhaps uh, i'll then end my turn because we are under attack what are these things attacking me now. Oh, I can actually see what it is. It's a it's a blight witch. And these ones are slaw. Sl coleslaw. I'm being attacked by coleslaw. And these are banshees. Okay. Well, all of our towers are full and we've got one person remaining. Um, I'm tempted to lightning, you know. So your health is one, so you're weak. What's your health? Two. What's your health? One. What does lightning cost? Oh, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, sod it. That's lightning. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> have some of that. Um, I might just prep by getting another stone house and another forager. Yeah, then we'll start the new year. Oh, there are boats. I didn't see those boats there. I would have lightning them. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Anyway, we're under attack now. Oh, we just lost a building. No beds. I think it was a cabin. I'm, I'm just going to rebuild that in your face. Um, I will lightning that. How, how much health does that boat have? It has three health. Yeah, I'll lightning the boat. Boosh. Yeah, then we're good to go to the next year. So kill her, kill him, kill her. And we're on to summer year nine. So we've now got two pages of jobs now. Uh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. I might shove some forest around this if there's space. There isn't space. Base. Okay, we'll just go on to harvest. All right, oh, vertical forest could be useful. I think that's a, a shape that I need. Maybe the lightning. I feel like that's actually quite good. Uh, definitely take the pilgrimage. Oh, green belt. Gain 1% happiness for each tree planted this turn. Oh, could be worth doing. Do another cabin, another forester, some more fish. And then we'll exit. Right, the straight forest, that's gonna it's gonna go across there for now. And then gonna re-roll and hope for more trees. Although I could just yeah, let's take some more gold, build another cabin, and shove a forager there. And I think oh I just I think I just put it on the wrong tile. It was meant to go one below. Oh, it's out of range. So we need more trees. We need more trees. All right, there's there's a vertical one. Can that oh does it actually it doesn't fit? Okay, I'll shove that there. But yeah, that one we need some more land to get trees around that. I'm gonna take that as well, by the way. Another 10 gold. All right, we're under attack again. So let's get the lightning out. Boosh. Let's get the hailstorm out. He's now bleeding. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, there we go. The perfect trees. So that now has trees next to it. 
decent. We'll do a little bit of job switching. Then we're all good to take them down in the next year. So die all of you guys. Oh no, destroy my big house. Oh, you absolute knobhead. He is bleeding though. Now, I could lightning them, but I feel like we are going to take him out this turn. I'm going to switch my jobs back. I think if I just have one per tower, then that should do the damage, right? I hope so. Let's see what happens. Do they both die? So one arrow. Yes, he's dead. One arrow for you. Yes, they're dead. Decent. Okay, look, we've nearly won. We've only got a few more victory points left. So let's re-roll these. Yeah, let's grab some more money. And then let's go on to harvest. Because, oh, look at all this stuff. And get a warehouse so we can store more stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. I actually need some, like, land and stuff. So maybe I'll take the forester. And then I'm just looking for land mainly. Oh, I'm, and a cabin. I did. I lost a house that time. Oh, big land. There we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's get my stone house back, I think. We'll do the hailstorm as well. We could reinforce some buildings. Seems sensible. Lumberjacks and logging camps in range generate gold instead of wood. Oh, I don't actually think I need any more wood. Yeah, I'm going to take that. And a few more forest tiles. And another lightning and a miracle harvest. Right, let's finish. So it's now winter. I could do some more houses. So let's get those done. I think there's there's a cabin. So we'll shove that there. May as well build a warehouse. It can go down here. And then I'm sort of just looking, there it is, for the big land. So if I shove that there, I think I can get trees and stuff in, which will actually help quite a bit. So I can do that. So now we're surrounding all of those. And then goods factory. Oh, I need more land. I need more land. That is annoying. I might reinforce up here though. Yeah, all of those decent and then build another stone house down there take the miracle harvest which ups all the food of those that's plus 12 food keep taking the pilgrimage card oh and there's another big land so i think i want that there so i can build that goods factory right and it is not coming up there it is there it is the goods factory so i can shove that there and that'll get me six gold per turn decent so let's finish the year we're on to spring year 11 we'll do a bit more pilgrimaging we'll plonk some fish down over here i might reinforce these buildings like that plonk some more land down do another miracle harvest that's 12 food and then we'll just end our turn summer year 11 so enemies are approaching from the north i think we're actually pretty good just to leave everything as we are so let's go on to harvest we could actually gain some more towers now so i'm gonna do that i think another wonder the Colosseum. yes please these. And then as it's autumn, we're, we we should probably harvest. I feel like that's what you do in autumn. So we've now got 100 food completely full. We're being attacked from the north next. So perhaps I should get another tower in like there. Now I sort of want to build the Colosseum. There it is. There's the Colosseum. 25 wood, 25 faith, 25 gold. Let's shove it down in Wonderland. There you go. We won the game. We didn't even have to battle because we filled the bar with victory points. Our score was 8,081 and we killed all of those enemies and built all of those wonders. Oh, what a cool game. Uh, yeah, and this is this is just a demo as well. They're always going to be adding to this as well. Uh, so if you if you enjoyed UK Simulator, uh, boost your like button. Let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and these doomed isles. Bye.